guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming another review video. These are so sporadic these days on my channel because I feel like I can never find the time to actually sit and play with these palettes, but I've had this one for quite some time now and I want to review this guy for you. It's actually the palette I have on my eyeballs today as well. So if you guys are interested, let's get into my thoughts on the BH Cosmetics Zodiac palette. Okay guys, I do have some notes on my phone, so forgive me if you see me looking down, but I did want to touch on this palette. Now this is definitely something I would consider affordable. This palette retails for $21, which I think is excellent, and you get quite a bit of product in here. So I'm going to talk about this a little bit. Now I definitely would categorize it, like I said, as affordable. I did do some digging on BH Cosmetics. I've tried a few things from them in the past. But this one and the It's My Rare Rare one are the first two palettes I actually committed to. Um, now this brand is based in Los Angeles and they thrive on culture and stylistic diversity that makes Los Angeles unique. We're proud to bring you high performance makeup in vivid colors that unite style and make glam, a philosophy that continues to make us a leader in the beauty industry. Constantly evolving, we're passionate about discovering new beauty innovations and surpassing expectations at every turn. We believe that when you look good, you feel good, and when you feel good, you do great things. That's why BH Cosmetics is here to help you express your individuality one bold and brilliant and beautiful color at a time. Now, I felt like in my mind, BH Cosmetics has always been one of those brands that has those like giant eyeshadow palettes, and I wasn't really never quite drawn to it, and then they have like the 80 brushes brush, brush rolls, and it's like, oh my gosh, who needs that many brushes? Plus, they never felt like they were very good quality, so... I had dabbled in BH Cosmetics and then I also tried the Carly Bible palette. I just wasn't very impressed with any of them, but when I saw the Zodiac palette, I was like, like, I did a double take for sure. Like Samantha March says, I did like a double take and I was like, ooh, I kind of wanted it. I was like, Karen, you're never going to use it. The quality is going to suck. Come on, this is BH Cosmetics. Like, how are they going to make a $21 palette be good, you know? So I didn't buy it, I didn't buy it, then I saw the It's My Rare Rare palette and I was like, ooh girl, I'm in trouble, I'm in trouble. So I definitely, definitely wanted to check out this palette. Now I will have it linked down below in case you guys want to shop it. Now the product launch date and time I'm not really sure about, but I ended up ordering it on November 17th of 2017 and it arrived on November 28th of 2017. Now I definitely felt like that was a long wait for me, but at that time Makeup Struggles had come out with a Black Friday shopping guide and even she had mentioned BH Cosmetics shipping tends to be a little slow, so if you're impatient just keep that in mind so you don't go absolutely crazy. This is, I believe, a limited edition palette. I feel like it's been around for quite some time. A lot of people said it is still available on the BH Cosmetics website. I will link it down below for you guys. So the product costs $21 and shipping cost is free ship at $45. Otherwise, you pay $5.95 for shipping. So, of course, you guys know I had to buy the Zodiac palette basically to get free shipping on the It's My Ray Ray palette. I actually think I like the Zodiac palette more, so it turned out to be a huge win for me. There's always sales going on, so you definitely don't have to buy this full price. So I really think this packaging is cool. They didn't come with a box. It came with, like, the sleeve, which is really cool. There's just information on the product and stuff on here and a little picture of the palette. And then this is cardboard packaging, but it's very, very freaking sturdy. I love this concept. It kind of gives me, like, Kat Von D. Mimita Loca vibes. There's a decent mirror in here and it's just cool. It's a little bit different. I feel like it's nice to see brands do something different, but it's not that obnoxious. Like it's not Mimita Loca obnoxious because that palette looks humongous. Like it's, it looks like the size of a record. So I feel like this is decent where you can still use this every day without hampering yourself too much. Now, I don't know that I would necessarily suggest traveling with this palette, but I do like the concept and I think it, it goes well with like the zodiac theme okay so i'm just looking on here to see where the palette is made and i want to say bh cosmetics is made in china but it doesn't say everything is in english and like german i think so i don't know why that is but it says it's designed at bh studios in hollywood distributed by bh cosmetics in burbank california 
but it doesn't straight up say made in unless I'm missing it but I'm pretty sure it's made in PRC now as far as product like what you get in the palette it says you get a total net weight of 1.06 ounces or 30 grams I never get through my eyeshadows anyway so I mean I'm not gonna ever pan this palette but if this is your only eyeshadow palette maybe that would be a concern of yours I just wanted to mention that to mention it but it's not something that ever really concerns me about a palette okay as far as shade selection now this is what the BH Cosmetics website says an alluring look is in the stars with our versatile zodiac 25 color eyeshadow and highlighter palette a divine spectrum of brights to smoldering shadows that create dazzling eye effects with 12 baked shimmers 12 buttery mattes and a luminous baked highlighter these super pigmented shades apply effortlessly to illuminate your eyes and cheeks with radiant color so I think that is a very good description buttery is a great way to describe these mattes I think these shades are wonderful I really really think they give you a little bit of everything like if you are a neutral girl you can use Virgo, Taurus, Pisces and you know some of these warm shades right here if you like to play with color every once in a while you can use Libra, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Aries, Cancer, Leo, like there is a little bit of everything in this palette. I also like that they did mattes and shimmers so there's a little bit of everything. Sometimes I've seen BH Cosmetics do like they have like these universe palettes. I don't even know what they're called but they're all these like big shimmer shadows and I feel like that's a little too much whereas if you were only going to own one palette this is a great one to have because you can get a complete look from this palette, I promise you. I'm wearing one today in my eyes. I use this shade Libra all over my lid and then I blended my crease with a couple of these brown shades and it worked out really freaking well. I'm also wearing a little bit of this highlighter on my cheekbones as well as in the inner corner. It's not the best highlighter but uh, it's, it's pretty good. I, I think it's really nice and I'm glad they threw that in there. Also, you can use it in the eyeshadow, which I think is fine. Now, I haven't actually used these shades wet. I just use the Too Faced Glitter Glue. So I'll do the mattes and like do all my blending and then just tap this on with my pinky finger. And then I'll clean my pinky finger off and just go into the shadow and then tap it on my eye. And it gives a really nice opaque look. I personally think this palette is suitable for all skin types. I've seen Lauren May Beauty talk about this. She is definitely lighter than me and I, I can't think of any really dark skin beauty gurus that I know for sure have talked about this but I'm sure if you look you'll find people and so I feel like that's a pretty wide spectrum and I think honestly any skin tone can really use this because there's a nice variety of shades which I personally really appreciate from BH Cosmetics. Now the shelf life of the palette is 24 months, which I think is really freaking decent. That is a good amount of time to get through some of these eyeshadows before they go bad. Okay, on the back here it does say that this is cruelty free, which is great, and I believe that is the PETA money that they have. So that's nice if you guys are cruelty free. You can pick up this palette and have some fun with some colors. It also does state that this is dermatologist tested gluten-free and allergy tested so if you guys are like gluten-free and you care about that it is stated to be gluten-free on their website as far as wear time I think these shadows wear beautifully the mattes definitely blend like butter they don't muddy in my crease they stay on nice and opaque all day long it is a fantastic fantastic palette I can't tell you guys that enough times now as far as swatches I did film a swatch party video on this palette so I will link it up in the cards for you guys and then I always like to end my review videos with the million dollar question which is would I repurchase this palette again and I honestly would I think this is a fabulous palette like I've already said also I think this would make an excellent gift for a makeup beginner or even somebody like me that just loves makeup I think they'd be a hundred percent impressed if this showed up for a gift now I don't think there's any gift giving holidays around the corner but if you want to start planning for Christmas or you know Memorial Day or like a casual 4th of July gift um, you might want to pick this up because it's fantastic and I'm pretty sure it's a mid edition so I don't think it's gonna last very long but I love this and this is another hit from BH Cosmetics for me.
Okay guys, that is everything I wanted to talk to you about in my BH Cosmetics Zodiac Palette Review. Let me know your thoughts, questions, comments, brilliant insights. Do you have this palette or did this video make you want to buy this palette? I'm really curious to know. Obviously, I don't want you guys to run out and buy every single palette if you don't need it, but I do feel like this is one where you won't regret it because it's such a great affordable price point. So that's my two cents on this palette. And uh, thank you for watching. I do upload every other day, so I hope you will consider subscribing before you leave so you can keep up with my content, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye, guys.